Bottle top Bill and his best friend Corky up on the hill. Let's watch the new play. It's all about walking the dog. Great. What a lovely, lazy day, Bill. Just right for doing nothing, Corky. And it's just right for sitting outside in the sunshine. Great idea, Corky. What's wrong, Bill? My legs are stiff, Corky. What you need is exercise. What sort of exercise? Watch me, Bill. Here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That exercise looks like hard work, Corky. That's the idea, Bill. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Whistlehead. Hello, Bill. Hello, Corky. Can you help me out? Sure, Mrs Whistlehead. What is it? Timmy needs his walk, but I have to go into town. Could you take him? It'll be a pleasure, Mrs Whistlehead. Just leave him with us. Wonderful. Right, out you hop, Timmy. <laughs> oh. He really needs his walk. He's been eating too much food lately. <laughs> I won't be long. See you soon. <laughs> My exercise will have to wait, Corky. Taking Timmy for a walk is exercise, Bill. You're right, Corky. We can do the two things together. Let's go, boy. <laughs> I don't think Timmy wants to go anywhere, Bill. How can we take him for a walk if he doesn't want to walk? We need an idea. What sort of an idea, Corky? Watch. A toy car? How will that make Timmy walk? You'll see. We just add a bowl of dog food. Timmy loves food. If we make the food move, then Timmy will move too. <laughs> Timmy, come on, boy. Right, Bill, stand by for some exercise. OK, Bill, ready to go walking? Ready, Corky. Then let's go. Oh, do something, Corky. Make him slow down. Will do, Bill. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Timmy, stop! Timmy! Corky, help! Let go of the leash, Bill. Good idea, Corky. <laughs> we got Timmy to do some exercise. Where is Timmy? He's not at the slide. Or the bus stop. Or the bush. Uh-oh. He hasn't run away, has he? I think he might be getting too much exercise. We'd better find him, Corky. Or Mrs Whistlehead will blow her top. We'll head for Watermelon Mountain. Good idea, Bill. There goes Timmy, Corky. I think he's too fast for us. Let's take the shortcut, Bill. Good thinking, Corky. Jump on. We'll catch him in no time. There he is, Corky. Grab hold of the leash, Bill. Will do. <laughs> Missed. Now where's he going? We'll just have to follow and find out. <laughs> What's this place, Bill? It looks like a big road. And there's a building too. Lots and lots of buildings, Corky. That means he's going into town. <laughs> I hope Timmy doesn't upset any people. How could he do that? There's all sorts of people in town and they've all got business to do. Very important business. Right. Can you see Timmy yet? Not yet. There he is. He's heading straight past the fruit man. <laughs> 
I'm Fruit Man. I can't see a Fruit Man. Corky, watch out! Hang on, Bill! <laughs> I can't see Timmy anywhere, Corky. You're facing the wrong way, Bill. OK. Now, where's that Timmy? There are so many buildings around here. He could go into any of them. Up ahead, Bill. He's going into the museum. Well spotted, Corky. Let's get after him. We'll have to be careful in here, Corky. A museum is a very special and precious place. I've never been in a museum before, Bill. What's it like? It's fantastic, Corky. You can see all kinds of things in a museum. What are all these bones? That's a skeleton, Corky. It's a dinosaur skeleton. Wow! This dinosaur's missing a leg bone. And I think I know who took it. Timmy. Timmy. We've got to find him, Corky. And the missing leg bone. What's this room, Bill? I'm not sure, Corky. We'll have to find out. Look, there's a pyramid. And a statue of a very special king. Wow! What are these things, Bill? They look like they're all from ancient Egypt, Corky. Do you think we'll find Timmy in here? Let's hope so. Bill, look! There's another statue. It's a cat. The Egyptians love cats. <laughs> Timmy, where are you? Look, Corky, over there. The dinosaur bone. But where's Timmy? We better put this bone back. But Timmy's getting away. It's okay, Corky. You watch. Perfect, Bill. I knew my frisbee practice would come in handy one day. But where do we find Timmy? <laughs> What's out there, Corky? It looks like a courtyard of some sort. Why is Timmy going there? There's only a few plants. There's more than plants, Bill. I can see a cat. A really big one, too. And he's not alone. Look at all these cats. What are they doing here? I don't know, Corky. I think I know why they're here. Why, Corky? It's a cat show. A cat show? I think yeah. you're right. I see lots of cats, Corky, but I don't see Timmy. Bill and Corky. Mrs Whistlehead, what are you doing here? I'm a judge at the cat show, but what are you doing here? Uh, just looking at the cats, Mrs Whistlehead. Then where, may I ask, is my Timmy? <laughs> Timmy, what are you doing? It's all right, Mrs Whistlehead. It's all under control. Got it, Corky. Oh, hang on, Bill. I've got you, Bill. What are you doing to my Timmy? Whistlehead. We were only trying to give Timmy his walk. But he didn't want to go. So we had to trick him into moving. 
But you know, I do believe Timmy's looking thinner. <coughs> yes, indeed. You have lost weight, haven't you? <coughs> well, Bill and Corky, I don't know how you did it, but you actually got Timmy to do some exercise. Well done. Thanks, Mrs Whistlehead. Would you like us to take him home now? I think you'd better. I have a very large mess to clean up. We can stay and help, Mrs Whistlehead. Thanks for the offer, Bill, but you've done more than enough already. We'll see you soon, Mrs Whistlehead. Thank you. And please say sorry to all the cats for us. Meow. I think you'd better tie Timmy's leash to the tree, Bill. We don't want him to get away again. Good idea, Corky. Make sure he's tied properly. Ruff, ruff. No more ruff. chasing cats for you, Timmy. I think Timmy's so tired from all his exercise, he's not going to go anywhere. And I'm so tired, I'm not going to go anywhere either. I wish my legs weren't so stiff, then I'd be able to relax in my chair too. Maybe after all the exercise you've done, your legs won't be stiff anymore. You think so? Why don't you give it a try? Well... Go on, Bill. See if you can sit in your chair again. OK. Here goes. Brilliant, Corky. My legs aren't stiff anymore. From now on, Bill, I think we should exercise every day. That's a top idea, Corky. But right now, I think we both deserve a good long rest. <laughs> when you're right, Corky, you're right. Bottle top Bill and his best friend Corky up on the hill. Let's watch the kids as they play, playing all day. Hooray! The adventures of Bottle Top Bill and his best friend Corky. Bottle Top Bill. And today, Bill goes shopping. The adventure started this morning. I decided to go into the garden to eat a nice, big, juicy apple. Good morning, Bill. I don't think it's a good morning at all, Corky. Why not, Bill? My hat's got a hole in it. You're right. Now I have to get a new hat. That's easy, Bill. It is. You bet. We'll go shopping. Great idea, Corky. Of course, that means we'll have to go to the big shopping mall. The one with all the tall buildings? That's the one. Great! I love going there. There's so much to see and do. It is very big, though. Are you sure we won't get lost? No, Bill. There are big signs to show you exactly where to go. If you follow them, you can't get lost, even though you're right in the middle of the city. Go to the city in a truck, Corky. But we don't need a truck, Bill. Or a car. Then how will we get there? We'll take a bus. Good idea, Corky. Going by bus means we don't have to drive ourselves. That's right. The bus driver can take us while we sit back and look at the view. And the bus stops right outside the shops. Right, Corky. Let's go shopping. It's starting to rain, Bill. We'd better go inside. What's up, Bill? This hole lets in the rain. And who wants a wet head? Not me, Corky. Let's run. I've never been to a shopping mall before, Corky. What's inside? Well, there's lots of shops. Yes. And places to stop and rest, and lifts to take you up and down, and lots of plants. Plants? Special plants that grow indoors. They all help make the shopping mall look really nice. Oh. Clothes shop, furniture shops, plant shops. Look at the size of this place, Corky. There's hundreds of shops, Bill. Hundreds, Corky. <laughs> How will we ever find that hat shop? We need a map. What does a map do, Corky? It shows us where everything is. OK, let's go and look at it. 
I can't make head or tail of this map, Corky. Look, Bill. There's the hat shop. But which way is it? I know, Bill. So do I, Corky. That, that way. way. Try again, Corky. I know. That, that way. way. I'm confused, Bill. One more try, Bill. That, that way. way. What's that in front of the shop, Corky? It's a pram, Bill. See, it's being pushed by that lady. She's taking her baby around while she does her shopping. OK, Corky, here we are at the hat shop. At least, I think it's the hat shop. It's easy to tell, Bill. Just have a look at what's on the shelves. Hmm, they do look like hats to me. I'm sure they're hats, Bill. But Corky, if this is a hat shop, where's the shopkeeper? There he is, Bill. Over there. Good morning. I'm Harry the Hatter and this is my hat shop. Harry the Hatter? We've come to the right place. Bill needs a new hat, Harry. Put your old hat here and I'll find something just right for you. There are so many to choose from. Try this one. What do you think, Corky? Too small. It is a little small. You need something bigger. Try this one. This is more like it. It's too big. Right again, Corky. It's a bit big. I don't think any hat is going to be as good as my old hat. I think you're right, Bill. My hat was just here. Where did it go, Bill? I can't see it anymore. Nowhere at all. It's gone, Corky. Bill, look. Stop trying to scare me, Corky. It's only a man outside the shop. Yes, but take a look at what he's about to put on his head. That man has my hat. Let's go and get it back. Stop. Wait. Oh, dear. Can you see which way he's going, Corky? I think he's going towards the escalators. Escalators? Steps that move. <laughs> Come on. Keep your eyes peeled, Bill. Where did he go, Corky? There he is, Bill. Hello! Excuse me? After him, Corky. We're running, but we're not going anywhere. Yes, we are, Bill. We're going backwards. Whoa! Follow me. This way, Corky. I hope we can catch him before he gets away. Do you see him, Corky? Over there, Bill. He's going into that cake shop. Then let's get after him. There are other shoppers in the cake shop too, Bill. I hope they all don't want my hat. I don't think so, Bill. They're just buying cakes to take home. We're nearly there, Bill. Look out! Get that cake, Corky! I've got it, Bill! Nice catch, Corky! Do watch where you're going, please! Sorry! Very sorry, sir! There he goes, Bill! Where's he heading now? Towards the lift! Oh, no! If we don't stop him now, we might lose him forever! Run, Corky! I'm right behind you, Bill! We're too late! He's going down, Corky! Let's use the stairs, Bill! Down we go! I can't see him, Bill! There are so many shops, we might never find him! If we split up, we could look in more shops, Bill! Great idea, Corky! And I know something that will help. A shopping trolley. And a fan with a sail. And I know what I need. Six balloons. And two kites. You go that way, Corky, and I'll go this way. <laughs> Whoa! Any sign of him, Corky? Not yet, Bill. 
is that man with my hat? I can't see him anywhere. Keep looking, Corky. Will do, Bill. <laughs> The gift wrapping counter. I wonder if he's gone there. I might just speed up and have a look. Oh no! I can't stop! Bill! Corky! Bill? Can you hear me, Corky? I can hear you, Bill, but I can't see you. I'm in here, Corky! Where, Bill? Here! Just a second! <laughs> Oh, thanks, Corky. Did you find the man with my hat? I couldn't find him anywhere. This place is just too big, Corky. What can we do? We can go back to the hat shop and buy a new hat. That's why we came here, remember? Right again, Corky. What would I do without you? Here we are again, Harry. I'm so happy you're back. We couldn't find the man who took Bill's hat. It was the best hat I ever had. It looked just like this one. Bill, that hat is your hat. See? It is, Corky. It's my hat. It's even got the same hole. How did it get back here? I'm afraid it's all my fault. What? Horace works here. I took your hat by mistake when I went out to buy a cake. I'm so sorry. I tried to tell you, but you ran out too quickly. That explains it. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't have been in such a hurry. At least we solved the problem. We haven't solved everything, Bill. You still need a new hat. That's right. What do I do? I don't have a new hat like this, but I could repair this old one. You could. Thanks, Harry. It won't take long. Would you like some cake? Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, thank you. There you are. Wow, look at that. It's as good as new, Bill. Better than you, Corky. Thanks a million, Harry. It's our pleasure. Two dollars, please. Oh, oh, sorry, Harry. Thanks again. <laughs> Corky, you wouldn't think going to buy a hat would be such an adventure. But it sure was, Bill. Worth it to keep my head dry, Corky. Worth every penny, Bill. You know, Corky, <coughs> while we're here, I could buy a new pair of boots. No, Bill, please. We've had enough shopping adventures for one day. <laughs> when you're right, Corky, you're right. Oh, oh please. Can't wait to get home. You bet, Bill. Bottle top Bill and his best friend Corky up on the hill. Let's watch the cat and they play. Playing all day. A snowflake? That's because today's adventure's all about the snow monster. Wow! How will we start the adventure, Bill? Let's look at what we can see through the telescope, Corky. Great! I love looking through the telescope. We might be able to see where our adventure begins. It could be fun. That's a great idea, Bill. I see Mrs Whistlehead's farm and the sheep. Wow! Paint me pink. This is something worth looking at. What is it, Bill? Have a peek, Corky. I know what these are, Bill. What are they, Corky? They're the snowy mountains. Corky, there's something I've never told you. What's that, Bill? I've never seen snow up close. You haven't? Well, Bill, there's something I've never told you. What's that, Corky? I've never seen snow up close either. Then it's about time we did. I'm with you, Bill. 
We'll have to travel a long way, Bill. How will we get there, Corky? What would you say about a balloon ride, Bill? I'd say that's fantastic, Corky. This should get us there in no time at all. Great. Ready, Corky? Ready, Bill. Up, up and away! Hey, Mrs Whistlehead! Can you see her, Bill? I sure can, Corky. There she is. Where are you going? We're going on a balloon ride, Mrs Whistlehead. We're going to the snowy mountains. Have a good time. But watch out for the snow monster. We will. Bye. Bill, did Mrs Whistlehead say s s snow monster? Oh, don't worry about that, Corky. There's no such thing as a snow monster. Are you sure there's no such thing as a snow monster, Bill? Absolutely. If we see a snow monster, Corky, I'll eat my hat. I hope you're right, Bill, because your hat won't taste very nice. Here come the snowy mountains, Corky. And we're going to hit them, Bill. <laughs> Hopefully in some nice soft snow. Hopefully you're right. What happened, Corky? We have to crawl out, Bill. Look, Bill. Snow. A whole mountain of snow, Corky. Snow is amazing, Bill. And fun too. Watch this, Corky. We could play snowballs. Great idea, Bill. I'll get some snow too. Are you ready, Bill? That was quick. Good shot, Corky. What do you mean, Bill? That snowball you just threw at me. I didn't throw a snowball at you, Bill. Oh, come on, Corky. Stop kidding me. Honest, Bill. It wasn't me. I... Oh! Hey, Bill. How did you do that? I didn't even see you throw it. I didn't throw it, Corky. If you didn't throw a snowball at me, Bill... And you didn't throw a snowball at me, Corky... Who's, who's throwing, throwing snowballs? snowballs? What's got big feet and legs? And a big furry body. And big floppy ears. And a big nose and eyes. The, the snow monster! <laughs> Mrs Whistlehead was right, Bill. Let's run for it. I can't, Bill. The snow's too deep. We need some skis. Ah! <laughs> I think we'd better get those skis quickly, Bill. Jump on my back, Corky. We'll get as far away from him as possible. I'm going as fast as I can, Corky, but skiing is hard work. He's catching us up, Bill. I'll ski even faster, Corky. Ah! I bet he can't follow us now. <laughs> we have to go higher up the mountain, Corky. But how? I don't know, but we'll need some help. What's this, Bill? I think it's a chairlift. It is a chairlift. Let's jump on. You won't get us now, Snow Monster. That was a close shave, Corky. Phew. The Snow Monster can't catch us now, Bill. You're right there, Corky. It's a lovely view up here, Bill. You can see right across the snowy mountains. It's great, Corky. Let's just relax and enjoy the ride. It's so quiet and peaceful, Bill. Just the way I like it, Corky. Strike me, Lucky. Who's throwing snowballs? It can't be the snow monster. He's at the bottom of the mountain. See? There he is. Wait a minute. What's this? It looks like a house. But who would live up here? I don't know. But it's definitely not the snow monster. Are you sure? Positive. He's at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, no, he isn't, Corky. He's at the top of the mountain. How did he get up there so fast? 
I don't know, Corky, but we're not stopping to find out. Mom, Snow Monster can't catch us now, Bill. Too right, Corky. That's the last we'll see of him. Thank goodness. Bill, the Snow Monster's right behind us. Oh, no, he isn't, Corky. He's right in front of us. What? <laughs> There's definitely a snow monster behind us. See? And there's definitely a snow monster in front of us. You know what this means, don't you, Bill? I sure do, Corky. There's, there's two, two snow, snow monsters. monsters. What should we do, Bill? There's only one thing we can do, Corky. Jump! <laughs> a giant snowball, Corky. I'm feeling really dizzy. Don't worry, we're nearly at the bottom of the mountain. How are we going to stop, Bill? We're about to find out, Corky. Oh no! Watch out for that tree! <laughs> Bill, can you hear that noise? It sounds like thunder. What's that coming down the mountain? You mean that great big wave of snow? Yeah, Bill. A huge big wave of snow. Don't worry. That's just an avalanche, Corky. Avalanche! What are we going to do, Bill? Run for it, Corky! Head for that big rock, Corky! Climb up quickly, Bill! Monsters? It's our pleasure. We thought you were going to eat us. We only eat snow. You only eat snow? He is eating snow. Why were you chasing us then? We just wanted to play snowballs with you. We don't have any friends to play with up here. Everyone runs away from us. It's really lonely. We'll be your friends, won't we, Corky? We sure will, Bill. Come on, let's play a game. Watch it. <laughs> Got you both. You're not angry, are you? <laughs> oh! I don't think they're angry, Bill. This is going to be fun, Corky. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and top that. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Bill! <laughs> Good shot! This is so much fun! Watch out! <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? what a great game! That was the best snowball fight ever! And you're the best friend ever, Bill and Corky. We've had a great time, but we better be getting home. How, Bill? We can help you with that. That's what friends are for. What's this, Corky? It's a snow bicycle. <laughs> Thanks, snow, snow monsters. monsters. Don't forget to come back and play with us soon. We promise. Goodbye, Goodbye Bill. Goodbye, Corky. Goodbye, Goodbye snow, snow monsters. We made two great friends today, Bill. We sure did, Corky. Bill? Yes, Corky? Remember you said there was no such thing as a snow monster? Uh, yes, Corky. And you said if we saw one, you'd eat your hat? 
I suppose I did, Corky. But we saw two snow monsters, Bill, so I reckon you don't have to eat your hat after all. <laughs> well, you're right, Corky. You're right. Bottle Top Bill and his best friend, Corky. Up on the hill, let's watch the kids as they play. Wonderful day, Corky. It's a beauty, Bill. Just the day for a game of tennis. Great idea, Bill. To play tennis, Corky, we need to get some proper tennis equipment. Don't worry, Bill. There's plenty of equipment down beside the tennis court. We'll find everything we need. Are you sure, Corky? I'm positive, Bill. Right then. Let's get down there and see what we can find. This will be fun. I love tennis. There are the rackets, Corky. We'll need one each. This one? Too small, Bill. What about this? Not the right shape. This looks good. That's the one. And here's a racket for you too. Thanks, Bill. Now all we need is a ball. Too big. Too small. This is the one we need. Right, let's play. Ready, Bill? Ready, Corky. Well, I hope that wasn't too fast, Bill. Good serve, Corky. I'll get it. Can you see where it's gone? No problem, Corky. I think it's among those flowers. Well spotted, Bill. Ready, Corky? Ready, Bill. Let her rip. This is my tricky serve. Good serve, Bill. I'll get it. Did you see where it went, Corky? In this bush, Bill. <laughs> that was my double tricky serve, Bill. I wonder where it's gone this time. It's in Mrs. Rabbit's burrow. <coughs> Mrs. Rabbit! Are you there, Mrs. Rabbit? <coughs> Great! Thanks, Mrs. Rabbit. Good work, Corky. It's really hard work fetching the ball all the time, Bill. Don't worry, Corky. This time we'll get it. I think we've got the hang of this now, Bill. <coughs> I've got it! Great shot, Bill. But now where's it gone? I think it's in that big tree. There's something else in that tree too. What is it? I know. It's a bird. Watch out for the tennis ball, little bird. <laughs> I think that shot was a bit too great, Corky. Where's it going now, Bill? High up into the sky, Corky. It looks like it's going up amongst the planets. The planets? I hope it doesn't get lost. Me too. I hope it falls down to Earth again really soon. I can see it. It's coming down again, Bill. It is, Corky. But where's it going to land? What's this, Bill? It looks like a vegetable. It looks like lots of vegetables, Bill. Lots and lots of vegetables. What's this? It looks familiar. I know. It's Sandy the Scarecrow. And the ball's heading straight for him. We'll have to warn him. Sandy, watch out. What? Is 
something wrong. Tennis ball coming, Sandy. Tennis ball? Hold on to it, Sandy. I can't. Keep your eye on the ball, Corky. I'm on it, Bill. Which way should we go? We'll follow the road. What's this, Corky? It looks like a house. It is a house, Corky. An old house where no one lives anymore. And the ball is heading for the chimney. What's that out in front of the house, Corky? I think it's a car. No, it's not a car. I know. It's a truck. Get the ball, Corky. Stop! That's our ball! Come back! We can't play tennis now, Corky. Not without a ball. What are we going to do? This calls for action, Bill. Serious action, Corky. We need our super speedy racing car. Good thinking, Bill. This will do the job, Corky. After that <laughs> truck, Bill. Are you sure you can drive this car, Bill? No worries, Corky. Off we go. We're catching up, Bill. They're heading towards those traffic lights. We've got them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Missed. Where do you think they're going, Corky? It looks like the city, Bill. Oh dear, the city's so big and scary. I do hope we'll be able to find them. Look up ahead, there's a traffic policeman. He might stop the truck. You're right, Corky. We might just get lucky. Don't you worry, Corky. I'm on the case. <laughs> Hold on tight, Corky. Great move, Bill. Let's get after them. There it is, Bill. Well spotted, Corky. What's this, Corky? Another truck exactly the same. And it's got a box on the back, too. Which one do we follow, Corky? Follow oh, that one. Try again. That way. Here we go. What's that up ahead, Corky? It looks like a shop of some sort. I think it's a very special shop. You're right, Bill. It's a petrol station. And the truck is stopping to get some petrol. Should be able to catch it now, Bill. Quick, Corky, jump up and see if our ball is in that box on the truck. Right, Bill. <laughs> Can you see our tennis ball? No, the box is empty. Oh well, looks like our tennis game is over. Meep, meep. Uh, uh. <laughs> I wish we hadn't lost our ball. I was really enjoying playing tennis. Look, Bill, there's the other truck. And our tennis ball must be inside. After it, Bill. Hang on. It's heading into the country, Bill. This place looks familiar, Corky. Where do you think we are, Bill? It looks like a farm. A nice farm. I know. It's Mrs Whistlehead's farm. Look, Bill. Must belong to Mrs. Whistlehead. I wonder if Mrs. Whistlehead's home. I think she is, Corky. Hello, 
Mrs Whistlehead. Hello, Bill. Hello, Corky. What brings you here today? We've lost our tennis ball. And we think it's in that box. Let's have a look. What's this? It's a new kennel for Timmy. I can't see our ball, Bill. It must have bounced out while the truck was driving along. I think Timmy's found something. Is this what you were looking for, Bill? Well, paint me pink. It's our tennis ball. <laughs> He's a great fetcher, aren't you, boy? I've got an idea, Corky. What's that, Bill? Watch. You've lost our ball again. Not for long, Corky. See? Fetch, Timmy. I get you, Bill. Timmy's the perfect answer to all our problems. Mrs Whistlehead, would you like to join us for tennis? You and Timmy? We'd love to, wouldn't we, Timmy? Right, Corky. Let her rip. Here it comes, Bill. Oops. Sorry. Where did that go? Timmy spotted it. Good boy, Timmy. Fetch it here, boy. Your hit, Bill. I missed it. Don't worry, Timmy will get it. Good work, Timmy. You know what, Bill? What's that, Corky? Having a dog to fetch the ball is the best way to play tennis. <laughs> when you're right, Corky, you're right. 